In this video, we'll be making some fresh orange juice and some classic waffles using the Breville Smart Waffle Maker to start off the year. To make the waffle batter, we must first mix together the dry ingredients. Mix in a quarter of a cup of caster sugar with two cups of self-raising flour. In a separate mixing container, pour in one and three quarter cups of milk. Add in three eggs. Pour in about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 125 grams of melted unsalted butter. Using an electric whisk or a hand whisk, thoroughly mix together all the wet ingredients. Slowly combine the dry and wet ingredients. Gradually mix the dry ingredients in to form a waffle batter. This will make eight waffles. Preheat the waffle maker by selecting classic setting and your preferred darkness. While waiting for it to preheat, we made some fresh orange juice. The waffle maker is ready once the screen turns orange and the unit beeps. Pour half a cup of batter into each waffle square. In the first square, I've asked my mum to pour a little bit extra to test out the no mess mode. This waffle maker has thermal pro oven heat to cook each waffle evenly. The no mess mode caught all the excess batter and prevented it from overflowing onto the countertop. The screen displayed a countdown and when it was ready, it started beeping. Carefully remove the waffles with a wooden spatula. The overflow of batter can easily be removed. The nonstick surface leaves no mess behind. This waffle looks beautiful and crispy. We're going to use the remaining batter to make a second batch of lighter coloured waffles. The waffle maker is smart enough to adjust the cooking time. Here's a comparison in the darkness of the waffle. We love to serve them with our favourite berries, which consist of strawberries, blackberries, raspberries and blueberries. It's also really good with a dollop of thick cream, a drizzle of maple syrup, and a sprinkle of powdered sugar, which is optional. And now for the taste test. This is one of the best waffles I've ever had with crisp on the edges but a little fluffy in the middle. If you like this video please subscribe and in the future we'll be trying out the other waffle recipes including the buttermilk, belgium and chocolate waffles.